Good morning. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Claire and this is Claire's Tarot. Um, today we're going to be doing a quick look at what the collective energies are and then there is a three card spread. Um, pick a card at the end of the video. I'll have the timestamps for that down below. If you don't want to watch the whole sheet bang and you just want to get your grab and go bags, it is there for you. Um, today we are looking at the moon is moving from Virgo where it's been for the past two days into Libra at around 10.37 EDT, so probably about an hour after this video goes up. Um, moon in Libra is a really nice time to just be finding balance, seeking harmony in your relationships, um, and it's a really nice time to just be kind of finding the similarities between two seemingly opposite positions. Elegant solutions to tricky problems are moon and Libra speciality. Um, so guys, these are general readings. Um, so I'd like to invite you to take a minute right now just to tap into God, the universe, your guides, your higher self, your ancestors, whoever it is that you pray to when you are in need of guidance and answers. And may they just guide any and all messages that come down the pipe for you today so that they may be applicable for you in your life and so you hear what needs to be heard and you know what isn't there for you. Okay, guys, so let's just get right into it. Uh, what are the collective energies today for May 30th? <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups reversed. So coming out of a period of grieving, it's followed by the Ace of Cups reversed and the world and the High Priestess. So there's definitely going to be a flow of emotions that's coming back today. It's going to be um, completing of a cycle, I see. For a lot of us, it'll be definitely kind of picking ourselves up and moving back into a place of emotional receptivity. Um, mm -hmm. This is also going to be talking a little bit about um, Venus is going to be rebirthed as the morning start on June 3rd. I'm going to do a little bit of a video blog later about that, just talking a bit about um, the Sumerian legend of the descent of Inanna and how it's kind of viewed in current psychology today and then what it actually meant to the ancient Sumerians and then how it applies to this whole Venus retrograde cycle. But the short version of it is... Um, once Venus appears over the morning horizon, it is just kind of that period of like, after spending time in the underworld, after spending time in our grief, in our feelings, we're allowed to reemerge and complete our cycles, basically. Okay. So today we have the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups reversed, Three of Swords, the Fool, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Hmm, there's like a lot of energy here that doesn't really go together <laughs> that well. Um, so, okay. So first of all, with this Four of Wands, we've got like, this is celebrations, this is High Holy Days, this is um, engagements, weddings, um, occasions where people gather together basically and celebrate. Um, it's followed by the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So it kind of tells me that whatever it is that we're celebrating, it may not actually be um, something that we feel that happy about. In fact, you know, with the Three of Swords here, I feel like it might actually be something that comes out of the woodwork in this situation or in this celebration that is quite hurtful for someone. Um, there might be... I mean, we've got... This three of cups here too so i mean like gatherings of people is probably going to be something that we're dealing with today um i just am kind of seeing this as like there is a really strong possibility that whoever you're interacting with today you're looking at the future of your relationships and you're you're starting to really um like notice i feel like subtly i feel like you're really going to just kind of be sitting and watching like how things play out in those relationships and you might be um 
yeah, you might be just in that place where you're questioning, like, this isn't that healthy or this isn't that great for my mental health or this doesn't make me feel um, like it, this doesn't make me feel um, easy. Like it makes me feel like I have to be carrying all of this responsibility. And you might be releasing some of that today and just kind of realizing that um, just kind of realizing that there are things in those relationships that need to have a bit of a a closer look and a little bit more of a realistic approach if they're going to, um, yeah, if they're going to be able to begin again in a healthy way. There might be like small falling outs, there might be like hard words had today, but I don't really see that as happening yet. I do see this as kind of like today is the day where you're finally finding that emotional honesty piece with yourself so that you can realize like you know, maybe my issues with this person doesn't actually have anything to do with me, but it does affect you. So, you might just be looking at that. Oh, I hear little children outside my window. Okay, so you guys have your card one, two, or three in mind, and we're going to go ahead and do the three card spread. Uh, you want to pick a card? I do recommend watching all three because the messages are usually. Um, mirrored in some way, you might be a cross watcher, you might hear something you didn't expect to. Of course, pay more attention to your message and we'll just get going on that. Here we have messages for the collective today. Okay, so we've got one, we've got two, we've got three. So, card number one, let's start with you. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords reversed, um, followed by the Empress and the Magician reversed. So card number one, you might be feeling, or all of us today might just be feeling like we don't want, quite want to make this transition from one uh, paradigm to the other, just because it threatens like a sense of stability within us, or we're not sure what that stability looks like on the other side. It's kind of what I'm hearing for that. So card number one, you have Judgment. Okay, so you're definitely going to be calling some shots today. You're definitely going to be drawing some lines in the sand. You're definitely going to be um, looking at hard limits and hearing and boundaries within your relationships. You're definitely going to be saying to yourself, what do I want to allow to continue? Um, and what am I personally accountable for in this relationship? And what do I need to um, let other people know that they are accountable for so they can go ahead and fix them? this judgment card for the message today. We have the strength card reverse that fell out for you. So yeah, really, really calling in on that inner strength today, guys. And maybe also just looking at ways that's crazy. So the three cards that I just talked about that were on the bottom of the deck are now laying on the table. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, so yeah, just kind of looking more closely at like, are you being strong for other people instead of yourself is what I'm getting with this. Like being really, really sure that you're able to acknowledge when someone is being deceptive or deceitful or manipulative um, or is hindering your, your like <laughs> your self-esteem in some way is what I'm hearing here. Um, today is just the day to kind of be like opening up to into your own world you know there's a lot of like reverse energy here so this is kind of like the, the time for those conversations may not be at hand but it is definitely time to be weighing you know judge jury executioner stuff okay that's it for you card number one we're gonna move on to card number two for the ten of cups for you card number two wow for a second. Goodness, this is just like the channel of jumping tarot cards, I swear to goodness. <laughs> okay, for the Ten of Cups, um, this is great. This is really happy energy. Like, this is, you know, like the happiest of the happy of the happy. This is emotional fulfillment. This is like completion, feeling like you're, you know, emotionally fulfilled in your current situation, your current environment, you know, it's sunshines and rainbows and lollipops and, you know, 
unicorn parts, like whatever. Um, let's take a bit of a closer look though and see what this Ten of the Cups is trying to say. We've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Cups reversed. Um, the Ten of Pentacles reverse and the King of Wands. I feel like you guys are going to be looking at codependency today. Um, I really see a lot of messages here about, um, you know, you might feel emotionally fulfilled on one hand, but like on the other hand, there is like this part of you that's really kind of hanging on to that because it, um, I feel like it's giving you a sense of control over your environment maybe. Um, or it's maybe helping you to cover up like some sort of inner insecurity or some sort of like fear about the future. Um, and so instead you're putting up kind of a bit of a facade and I feel like the people in your life may or may not know this. So it might kind of be up to you to like tone it down or bring it in a little bit or just even up to you to like look in your, uh, within your own heart, your own psyche, your own mind and kind of see like where are you um, most tender? Where are you most vulnerable? Um, it might be a really good idea to look at what you're projecting versus what you're really feeling. Um, and just kind of, you know, taking a, taking a closer look so that you can have true security instead of um, having to act strong. Card number two, that's it for you. We're gonna move on now to card number three. For the six of wands reverse for you, card number three. Hmm. This is a card of humble pie in my mind. Um, let's clarify the six of wands. Ooh. We've got the three of wands. We've got the king of swords. And we've got the four of wands for you guys. And we've got the moon and the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords on the bottom, and the Devil. That's a happy little grouping, don't you think? Hmm. Okay, Six of Wands. So, with this card, I, I do often think of it as like, and particularly with this Four and Three of Wands here with this King of Swords, this is about like being very, 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 very humble, being very grounded, um, being aware that you you have succeeded in something like there is um like there is reason to celebrate or there is reason to be um you know really like feeling yourself feeling your oats all that kind of thing but just being aware that like if you are on that high horse people will see that and people will um not necessarily love you for it they might feel like some kind of a way or it might kind of activate like their sense of jealousy within themselves and even though it's not your crap to really take care of um it is in your best interest right now to be very 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 aware of who you allow into that successful moment this is definitely i'm hearing like there are people in your life who aren't what they seem who want to take your success for theirs um and who really want to possess it for themselves like they really want to possess you and they really want to like um diminish what it is it's it's almost like if i can't have that success you can't celebrate it or you can't have it either like it's kind of like petty bullshit energy quite honestly um so just be aware of those people in your life today um you know like do celebrate but but maybe only you know like you know dial it down a little bit and then when you're ready to share with people who you trust then yeah then you won't be sabotaged okay that's it for your card number three i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up with the last look how do we collectively work with this energy today got high priestess reverse of the moon interesting and the six of pentacles is on the bottom of the deck so whoa whoa this is interesting this is like let there be an end to imbalance and a beginning to like valuing yourself is kind of what i'm hearing or like just just finding a balance between how much you are 
feeling protective of yourself versus how much you're giving away to other people is what that's about and the high priestess in the moon i mean like this is really you know looking through illusions this is really like asking yourself like who is the saboteur is it me is it someone else is it the dynamic itself is it the culture and you're gonna have those answers only but when you look within yourself because you have everything you need already i hope that this resonated with you guys if it did please leave any feedback you have in the comments hit like or subscribe if you want to see more of this face doing this kind of thing um again i hope to have that little video blog up later about inana and i really hope you guys have a fruitful day i'll hope to see you in your next reading bye